Hey kids, it's Dana, the gypsy psychic. What's going on? Want some candy? Huh? <laughs> hey kids, want some candy? <laughs> How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I am doing phenomenal. I cannot complain. I mean, I could, but what's the point? I'm not going to complain. I'm going to turn that low vibrational manifestation into high vibrational manifestation. Whenever I want to complain, I just stop myself and count my blessings, right? Right on. All right, guys, we're here to do a reading for the sign of Taurus. I am a Taurus sun. Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, but a Taurus sun. So we're going to throw down for Taurus and see what the heck is coming for you guys. What's going on? What spirit wants you to know, understand, and uh, how to navigate for your best and highest good, Taurus. So it's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it. And so together story. If that clarification process gets too lengthy or too involved, I will fast forward that portion of the video and we will pick up right where we leave off, okay? So let's just get right into it and uh, I'll save any kind of chit chat for the end, okay? All right, you guys, let's do it. Oh, you like the new hairdo? Huh? Huh? Feeling kind of sassy these days with the new hairdo. Uh-huh. All right, you guys, let's throw it down. Give me a second to channel, focus with me on my prayer, and we'll see what Spirit has to say, okay? All right. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. Spirit and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus, and what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What does Taurus need to look out for? What does Taurus need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring Taurus the information that they need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future. Please tell me where the stopping point is for the collective of Taurus spirit. I'll cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. What is it that you want Taurus, okay, right there, to know and understand? All right, you guys, let's cut these cards. Let's cut them. <laughs> Oops, that was human error. Okay, ready? Let's go. Can you see them on the camera there? Let's go. Two, three. There we go. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the five of wands in reverse. Um, either avoiding responsibility or some kind of increased focus on your goals. Can y'all see this up here? It just seems really dark to me. I got all my lights on, got the window open, but anywho, all right. First card out. Ooh, judgment in reverse. And yes, I do read reversals. Reversals are half of the tarot deck. Okay, they're the other 50% that make up the 100% of the tarot. All right, judgment in reverse, and they're not necessarily bad. Judgment in reverse, deciding to not decide, bad decision. King of Pentacles in reverse. We'll see what that's about. Ouch, Ten of Swords, ending pain, betrayal. Princess of Swords, some kind of communication. The Four of Pentacles in reverse, greed, debt, materialism. The Two of Swords, some kind of crossroads. The Two of Pentacles in reverse, talking about an imbalance, maybe even a financial imbalance. Six of Cups in the center of the reading, family, home, nostalgia, Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration. The Three of Cups, joy, celebration. The Queen of Swords, a decision. The Six of Swords, to leave something behind. The Emperor in reverse, Ooh, out of control maybe, the Moon in reverse, coming to terms. The Three of Wands in reverse, a lack of foresight. The King of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles to the Wheel of Fortune. And the Eight of Swords in reverse. The Three of Swords, some kind of grief, sorrow, justice in reverse. The Empress in reverse to the Prince of Cups and the Ace of Wands. To the Eight of Wands and the Fool. Fantastic. We're going to stop with the Fool. 
All right, the first little part of this reading seems to be negative, but not always, right? Not always. Let's clarify and see what's going on. Y'all can all see those, right? I might need to move them up a little bit for you real quick. Let's just move them up a little bit. All righty. All righty. A few things you need to know about me before we get started. I have a propensity to be irreverent. So if uh, irreverency is a problem for you, then you probably should cut loose now. Okay? My relationship with spirit and the universe is not uh, dictated by some kind of um, authority or fear. Okay, Me and spirit jive just like me and you jive. So if my irreverent behavior offends you, leave now. I also smoke my vape on camera. And if you don't like that, head out, tuck your tail, and go. I don't want to hear nothing about it in the comments. I do me. You do you. I don't judge you. You don't judge me, and we're cool, okay? All right, oh, and I swear, I swear, I will swear, I guarantee you I will swear. That's part of the irreverent behavior, right? Okay, all right, let's dive in. See what this is about. So, judgment in reverse. First card out sets the tone for the whole reading. What is judgment in reverse? Is it self-doubt? Is it deciding to not decide? Is it a bad decision? It's followed by the King of Pentacles in reverse. So what is the bridge here? And what is going on here? What is judgment in reverse about, please, Spirit? Okay. The Queen of Wands and the Hermit. Okay. Indecision, possibly. All right. To the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Swords. So endings, crisis, I feel like it's more like a crisis, honestly. Look at that to the star. King of Pentacles in reverse is a domineering, controlling energy. It's someone who used to hold title but doesn't anymore. It's also about um, a lack of success somehow, some way. So Spirit, tell me about this, please. Give me one on the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? The Knight of Swords in reverse, because your thoughts aren't in the right place to the star. Okay. The Ten of Swords to the Princess of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is this crisis. What is the Ten of Swords about? What is this? Is ending, pain, betrayal, crisis. Ah, look at that. The Eight of Swords. You're manifesting your own crisis, Taurus. Okay. Princess of Swords. Communication, Spirit? Is this communication to the Queen of Pentacles? Possibly change your thoughts, change your uh, sense of well-being. To the Four of Pentacles in reverse. The Ace of Wands in reverse. So this is going to be a lack mentality. The Ace of Wands in reverse. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Three of Wands in Reverse and the Fool. Bun bouncing out. New beginning, new direction. And look, the Fool is down here too. Okay. Two of Swords. What's the crossroads here though? What's the crossroads? What's the crossroads? Crossroads to the King of Pentacles in the upright. Okay. All right, Taurus. This is what's happening. Okay. This is what's happening. So, judgment in reverse. First card out sets the tone for the whole reading. Judgment in reverse is indecision here. Okay? It's deciding to not decide. It's also a great deal of self-doubt. Okay? So, self-doubt. In regards to what? Well, the Queen of Wands. Your <laughs> You're in regards to what? The Queen of Wands, your pursuit of achievement and success. The Hermit comes on top of it, being Major Arcana, just like Judgment in Reverse was. The Hermit says, it's time to do some soul searching and some introspection. It's time to reevaluate what it is you're doing and why it is you're doing it the way that you're doing it, because that is the King of Pentacles in Reverse, okay? In this Hermit energy, which is an invitation from your higher power to sit and talk about things. I mean like audibly talk about things, okay? 
In this hermit energy, you are going to be illuminated to the very next step that you should take. Not the whole path, just the next step that you should take. What is that next step? Well, it's the Eight of Wands. It's movement, action, change to the Six of Pentacles, perhaps in your home, perhaps whom it is that you give and receive the prosperity of life with, and perhaps it is your job, okay? So, a lot of self-doubt when it comes to your pursuit of achievement and success, okay? The Hermit says, sit with me and let's get this straight. What are you going to learn in the Hermit energy? Well, the, the change that needs to happen. You're going to come to terms with the movement, the action, the change that you need to make in your life, and it is related to either your job, your living situation, or with whom it is you are living with, okay? The King of Pentacles in reverse. This denotes to me a lack of success. Taurus not feeling on top of things. Taurus feeling defeated, okay? Defeated, right? Ten of Swords in a state of crisis, okay? What's happening here? Why? Why is Taurus defeated and in a state of crisis? Well, the Eight of Swords, you are all tied up in your head somehow, some way, in a state of fear. You see, if this was your reading, these cards would be your cards, and we would be able to pinpoint exactly what's going on in your life right here. But because it's a general reading, I don't know what I'm talking about, so you're just going to have to fill in the blanks. Best thing to do is get your own cards read, right? because that's the only way you're going to know your real story. Okay? So, all trapped in your head in a state of fear manifestation, which we have the magician down here, right? I think it's here twice, honestly. Manifestation is lesson number one of the major arcana. The magician is lesson number one of the major arcana. Where your thoughts go, your reality becomes. Period. Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not, where your thoughts go, your reality becomes. Right here, this Eight of Swords tells me that your thoughts to the Ten of Swords are manifesting crisis in your life. And because your thoughts are focused on crisis, you have a lack of a sense of well-being in your life and surrounding you, okay? Because you're manifesting crisis in your life. True, okay? Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? Well, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Your thoughts are not under control. To the star. Spirit says, we are trying to lead you. We're trying to show you the way to go. The star is a card about an understanding that there is a higher power that is constantly trying to push you and prod you through, I don't know, whatever your belief system is, right? Angels, passed on loved ones, Jesus, whatever your thing is, right? Mohammed, whatever your thing is. Your higher power is constantly using the forces around you to push you in the direction of your best and highest good. It's about having hope in your faith that there is constant renewal. That's what the star card is about. This trumping all of the negativity that we just talked about tells me that spirit's trying to lead you in a direction, but you are afraid to make a move, okay? Afraid to make a move in the direction that you know in your guts is the right thing to do. Princess of Swords. Could this sometimes be communication? Yeah, absolutely, but uh, it's not communication here, okay? The Princess of Swords is about a new way of thinking, swords being the air energy. Remember, you're trapped in the swords and the air energy in the mind over here in fear and crisis, right? Star card says we're trying to lead you. Your self-doubt is interfering with your pursuit of achievement and success somehow, some way. The Hermit says it's time to take some action, okay? Princess of Swords is the beginning of a new way of thinking, okay? What is this thinking that needs to be changed? It's the Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is a lack mentality. Four of Pentacles in the upright is about someone who has it locked down. They're good to go. They're stable. They're secure. The Four of Pentacles in reverse is about a lack mentality. So there needs to be some new thoughts sewn into your mind, some high vibrational manifestation, because you are caught in some kind of lack mentality. I can't do it alone. I can't do it by myself. I can't find a new job. I can't, I can't, I can't. Every time you say that, you are manifesting that into your life. 
change those thoughts. Instead of, I have bills to pay and I don't know how I'm going to pay them, you catch yourself in the subconscious thinking that and you change it into, I have bills to pay, I'm not sure where the resources are coming from, but I know if I'm going in the direction that Spirit is leading me, my needs will be met. Period. Right? But you got to be going in the direction that Spirit is guiding you. If your free will is in the ego and the flesh, and you are living your life and making decisions as an awakened person, okay? If you are living your life and making decisions in the flesh and the ego, the ego being flesh nature, we're all born into the ego. The ego wants what it wants what it wants, and it does whatever it needs to do to get it, okay? You are not manifesting in a spiritual understanding right now. How do I know that? Well, because crisis, fear, and a lack of success have no place in a spiritual journey. So I know immediately that you are manifesting low vibration. Okay, because none of this is a part of a spiritual journey. A spiritual journey in the star card, you know that you know that you know that everything is going to be fine because you're doing what it is you feel called to do in your intuition, whatever that is. Your intuition is your higher power speaking to you. Okay, so to change Queen of Pentacles, your sense of well being, Queen of Pentacles is okay in the family. She's okay in the finances. She's okay in her sense of well-being, okay? In order to be the queen of pentacles in the upright instead of the king of pentacles in reverse, you need to change your thought life with the princess of swords. So spirit can direct you to your best and highest good. What's going on here is the four of pentacles in reverse. It's a lack mentality. Don't have enough. Ace of Wands in reverse. This lack mentality is a vicious cycle and it leads to a lack of motivation. There's nothing good that can be had out of a lack mentality. Five of Pentacles in reverse. If you want to come out of a financial bind, Three of Wands in reverse, you have to stop blocking yourself. Three of Wands in reverse is about a lack of foresight and obstacles to your long-term goals. If you want to get out of the situation that you're in now, you need to stop blocking yourself to the fool and level up your spirituality. See, the fool is zero because it can be placed in anywhere for a new beginning and a new journey, a change of direction, because the guy in this card has enough faith to understand the star. The guy in this card is like, I don't know the who, what, where, when, why, or how of any of this, but all I know is in my guts and in my intuition, I feel that I'm being led and called in a direction, and I am simply going to close my eyes and step out in the direction that Spirit is asking me to go through my intuition. Spirit says, if you will change your thoughts, you will change the direction of your life and there will be renewal, a brand new beginning and a brand new journey. Because right now you're manifesting in the flesh, which is fear and crisis. Okay. All right. Hold on. Smoke break. Two of swords at a very serious crossroads. Why are you at a very serious crossroads? Well, because if you keep manifesting fear and crisis into your life, guess what your life is going to be? Fear and crisis. You're at a crossroads. You only have two choices. You can either step forward or stay where you are. That's it. That's your only choices. King of Pentacles comes on top of this. Why are you at a crossroads? Well, you're at a crossroads for your success. You're at a crossroads for your sense of well-being. This King of Pentacles is in the upright. That one's in the reverse, right? You are at a crossroads for success in your life, stability, and a sense of well-being. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe you're having some financial difficulties. Maybe you're having trouble balancing things out. We are in a recession. I don't care if the if Bloomberg keeps saying we're on the verge of recession. No, we're actually, I mean, price of gas, price of groceries. I mean, come on, y'all. Oh, by the way, I have a recession special <laughs> on my website. It's going to help you out a little bit. If you need to get your cards read, um, there is a recession special on my website, okay? So, two of pentacles in reverse. This is imbalance in your sense of well-being, possibly because of an imbalance in your finances. 
the Six of Cups in reverse comes on top of that and talks about being stuck in the past. Perhaps in the past you were very successful and things have slowed down or died down now. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Cups in reverse, please. Well, that was obvious. Three of Swords in reverse. You have to come to terms with this. You cannot live in the past. If you were successful in the past and you are experiencing some kind of downturn now, now is not the time to begin to manifest your own crisis into your life. Now is the time to give it up. Give it up. Wherever it is you, you think your higher power lives, right? Give it up. Three of Swords in reverse. Come to terms with grief, sorrow, and pain. Come to terms with it. Don't manifest it. Come to terms with it. Six of Cups. In the center of your reading, when you do come to terms with it, your sense of emotional well-being, memories, home, nostalgia, the four fuzzy walls that make up your life, will be restored to the Ten of Cups. And you will find yourself in a great deal of emotional fulfillment. Spirit will bring that to you. They will. Look, the three of wands. Have some foresight. Have some foresight because what, always, what glitters isn't always gold. But on the flip side, you don't even know what's coming. Have some foresight. Have some faith that Spirit is going to bring you what it is that you need in order to be okay. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork, collaboration, the Three of Cups, reuniting, celebrating. Um, it's about reunion as well. Let's work through this, okay? To the hangman, pause, process, take a step back, reevaluate. The King of Cups, spidey senses, right? The King of Cups is, is ancient wisdom, okay? Ancient, to me, as a reader, okay? This guy for me and the Queen of Cups is about ancient wisdom, Okay, this guy knows his intuition. He's honest and fair with himself and his emotions, and he pulls himself together and he understands his emotions. Okay, so hangman, take a step back, reevaluate the situation, come into a place of emotional balance and emotional control. The moon in reverse, stop struggling in the subconscious between that which you know is true within yourself and that which the flesh tries to talk you out of with fear and anxiety. You can't do that. That's too scary. You can't do that. What will people say? You can't do that. You're not going to have a steady paycheck. You can't do that. This person isn't your type, right? What are people going to say? Come to terms with the internal struggle of the moon card. In the reverse, this is about coming to an understanding of what direction it is you're supposed to go in your life. And the Six of Swords comes on top of it and says, inside of yourself, you know you are supposed to leave something behind. Whether it's a job, whether it's a home, whether it's a marriage, a relationship, a child, um, whatever it is, you inside of yourself internally know that you're supposed to leave it behind, but you're afraid to. Page of Pentacles in reverse. You can't manifest in this kind of energy. You can't. You cannot manifest for your best and highest good in this kind of energy. Page of Pentacles in reverse is also about your immediate short-term focus. What does that need to be? Well, the magician. Get your manifestation skills on point because they're way off kilter. They're off balance. They're off kilter. You are manifesting into your life anxiety, despair, crisis your thoughts are not you're 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 not grounded and that's what that king of cups is about right there it's about being grounded now let's go back and talk about the three of pentacles in the three of cups three of pentacles in the three of cups is about moving in a direction where you have peace you have peace you have um friendship. Three of Pentacles is teamwork and collaboration. Three of Pentacles is about coming together with others and working things out. This Three of Pentacles could be a lease on a house, a lease on an apartment, buying a house, hiring contractors, whatever it is. 
okay? But it's coming together with people who want to participate in what it is that you got going on. Maybe you're starting a new business and you're all distressed because you don't have the partners that you need. Well, Spirit's telling you, if you'll stop being distressed, hand it over and have faith that it's going to manifest into your life, it will, okay? The Three of Cups, same energy, right? It's about joy, celebration, coming together in community and friendship. What this is saying is Spirit will lead you to exactly whom and what it is that you need to be led to, to do what it is that you need to do. Take a step back, reevaluate, calm down with the King of Cups, right? Pull it together and calm down. The moon in reverse, come to terms with that which you know to be true inside of your soul. And take, take action with the Six of Swords. Leave behind you the mental conflict that you're manifesting into your life. You can't manifest what it is that you want to manifest with low vibration. Your immediate short-term focus, the magician, needs to be manifestation. It is lesson number one of life, of spirituality, and of the major arcana. Again, let me reiterate, where your mind goes, your reality follows. These are the four elements that make up the human nature right here, right? This sword right here is you um, getting your mind straight. Getting your mind straight, focusing your mind on what it is that you want to see happen in your life. The inspiration of this wand right here is the fire energy. What follows your mind is your motivation, okay? What follows your mind? When your mind locks on something, your motivation follows it. What follows that is your emotions, okay? So your mind creates something, your motivation in inspire your inspiration motivates you to make it happen your emotions become involved which bring you a sense of stability and well-being and then the earth energy comes in and talks about your um, groundedness and your whole sense of well-being all of them working together to manifest something because you ain't doing it right right now taurus <laughs> you're just not not doing it right hence the queen of swords Queen of Swords is all about minding her thoughts, minding her thoughts, minding her thoughts, minding her thoughts. Thou shall not pass, thou shall not take root. I am minding my thoughts. And that's what she's about. She's a boss bitch who does not allow negative manifestation into her life, period. Four of Swords comes on top of her and talks about coming to terms with what again? Just like this three of swords in the reverse. What's this guy coming out of right here? He's coming out of the three of swords, right? He's coming out of the three of swords. He's giving thanks to the understanding that he has procured from these experiences. He's preparing to pick up the fourth sword. He's bringing stability with the number four to his mindset, and he is going to push forward. And that is your advice in the situation. Six of Swords again, moving, leaving something behind, heading to calmer waters in your mind, wrapping up this mental viciousness that you have going on and leaving it behind and moving into the Queen of Cups, just like this King of Cups, a place of emotional stability, knowing that you know that you know that Spirit has your back. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Financial issues, loss. Spirit, tell me one about this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, please. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Death in reverse. Okay, so whatever loss it is that you are super afraid of with this lack of success up here, okay? Whatever kind of loss this is, financial loss, personal loss, it's pentacles, earth energy, so it's your sense of well-being, okay? Whatever kind of loss this is, death in reverse comes on top of this and says you need a personal transformation. Stop resisting change and transform yourself with your power of manifestation so spirit can put you on the path to your new journey so you can follow the direction that spirit says is in your best and highest good. Personal transformation 
Eight of Pentacles in reverse because what you're doing now is not working. It's not working. The Emperor in reverse says you're out of control of your life. Out of control of your life. Out of control of yourself. The Emperor in reverse is a card about a need for self-discipline. It's about a need for self-discipline and a need for self-control. Okay? To the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about reflecting and assessing, thinking things over and making a new plan. Why? Because you're out of control. Look at that. To the Queen of Wands. For your achievement and success. For your future. For your inspiration for life. Okay? The moon in reverse, again, it is time to let go of the internal struggle between that which you know to be true. It's all over the six of swords, right? You know you have to leave a certain something in order to get what it is that you want out of your life, but you're afraid to do it, whether it's a job, relationship, a house, whatever your thing is, okay? you got to leave it to get to grow, to grow. Come to terms with it. Come to terms with it. Six of Pentacles in reverse, just like up there. What it is that you're doing is, is one-sided. Perhaps you're holding on to, on to something out of greed or materialism. Um, perhaps you don't want to leave a situation because they're your support system. Perhaps you don't want to leave a situation because um, you're, not, you're afraid that you can't find the same kind of money in another job somewhere somehow. Nine of Swords, it creates a lot of anxiety and despair. A lot of anxiety and despair, and that's what you're manifesting into your life. Page of Wands in reverse, aimlessly drifting, no real plan to go anywhere or do anything. And then the King of Wands in reverse comes on top of this and talks about egocentric. Okay? Hold on. Who's egocentric? Well, Taurus, you are. You're egocentric. Why are you egocentric? Because you are holding on to something in the flesh that is not part of your journey or part of your past. And due to your situations and circumstances, you're afraid to let go of it. What is that rooted in? It's rooted in the ego. Egocentric with the King of Wands in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. No real plan to the Nine of Swords in reverse, manifesting fear and anxiety into your life. Three of Wands in reverse, this is obstacles to your long-term goals. And the Chariot in reverse says it's a blockage. It's a blockage to everything that Spirit wants to rain down on you in the Star and the Fool. It's a blockage to everything. The Chariot in the Upright is about putting in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to make the decisions that result in the actions that take you to where spirit needs you to be. And you're not doing that right now. King of Swords, lay it down. King of Swords is about being responsible. It's about your truth. It is about, again, minding your thoughts. It's about making a decision in your thought life that is responsible and of your best interest to the Ace of Pentacles. When, what is this decision of the King of Swords? It's everything that we just talked about. It is your drop dead decision to stop being scared, to stop being anxiety ridden, to stop manifesting crisis into your life, to come to terms with the grief, the sorrow and the pain and take action in the direction that spirit is obviously telling you with the moon in reverse here twice, what is the course of your best and highest good? Where does it lead you? Well, the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of new prosperity. Where does it lead you? The Wheel of Fortune. It frees up the ability for spirit to divinely orchestrate the steps of your life because they cannot intervene in your free will. And right now, your free will is the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords in reverse, the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Three of Wands in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is what you're manifesting into your life, Taurus. Spirit says, if you will stop that, begin to focus on your high vibrational positive manifestation, that is going to put you in alignment with where spirit wants you to go. Follow your guts, follow the feelings that you have inside of yourself and act on it. 
despite the fear. Feel the fear and do it anyway. The Wheel of Fortune says when you align yourself, they will be able to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path. Where are they leading you? The Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of new prosperity, the manifestation of new, um, the manifestation of new prosperity and the manifestation of a new sense of well-being to the nine of pentacles, independent, self-sufficient. Maybe you want to be an entrepreneur. Maybe you're sick of punching the clock and making somebody else rich, but you're scared, right? Maybe you want again to leave a relationship, but you're scared. The nine of pentacles is self-sufficiency and independence. There is nothing to be afraid of here, as long as you come to terms with the subconscious struggle between your flesh and your intuition. Eight of swords in reverse. All you have to do is get a new perspective. Let yourself out of the fear mentality and glean a new perspective. A new perspective about what? What you're afraid of with the three of swords, grief, sorrow, pain. What you're afraid of with the five of cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment. Justice in reverse says this is an injustice to your life because it makes you unaccountable for your journey. Mm -hmm. Ruminating in the ego, in the flesh nature, is, is it makes you unaccountable for your spiritual journey. Straight up. And you manifest injustice into your own life by not taking accountability for your journey. The Empress in reverse. This is a creative block. Why is it a creative block? Because you cannot co-create with source while you are co-creating with the flesh. Can't do it. They cannot intervene in your free will and they will not co-mingle with your flesh. Will not do it. Paraffin in reverse. It is time to reevaluate your belief system, what you believe about yourself, what you believe about your spiritual journey, what you believe about your relationship between you and the divine. It is time to reevaluate your belief system. It is also time to cut ties and connections that bind you to this situation. The devil in reverse, release your limiting beliefs, the attachment that is the restriction to your growth. That is a toxic vein in your life. It is time to release those limiting beliefs. What are those limiting beliefs? Well, fear, fear, Prince of cups, Prince of cups is about pulling it together, pulling it together. Prince of Cups is in touch with his, with his intuition. He's in touch with his emotions. He is prepared to move forward very, very carefully with his newfound sense of well-being. Okay? He's going to move forward very, very carefully. Where does this lead you? Once you reevaluate your belief system, once you let go of your limiting beliefs, you pull it all together in the Prince of Cups, and the Ten of Swords in reverse says you're going to turn this negative manifestation into positive manifestation. Ten of Swords in reverse is about renewal and regeneration. And that's where spirit wants to lead you to the Empress in the upright. You happening to life, life not happening to you. This is where spirit wants to put you. The Empress is lesson number three of the Major Arcana. Three is about achievement and growth. We already talked about lesson number one, the magician, where your mind goes, your reality becomes whether you like it or not. So you better be careful where your mind goes. Lesson number two is the high priestess who ironically is not here, but she's kind of represented in the moon energy down here. Okay. Lesson number two is your intuition is your higher power always leading you in the direction of your best and highest good. The Empress, lesson number three, understands that. She minds her thoughts constantly because she knows that her power of manifestation creates her reality. She constantly follows her intuition. And by combining these two together, she is the Empress. She happens to life. Life does not happen to her. And this is how you need to posture in order to work your way through this situation. Where are you going? What's happening? Well, once you understand your power in the Empress energy, 
The Ace of Wands says there is a release of your potential. There is a brand new inspired beginning once you come to terms with yourself, your flesh, your ego, and your spirituality. And if you so choose to execute your free will and your spiritual understanding, Spirit says we can now orchestrate the, the steps of your path. We're going to bounce you out with the fool in a new direction. We are going to ensure your success, but we cannot ensure your success if your free will is being executed someplace else. There is a passionate, inspired, brand new beginning in your future. To the eight of wands, everything is going to change. The second you get on your knees and you give it up, it begins to change to the fool. And spirit will show you exactly where you need to go and exactly what you need to do. They're not going to show you the whole picture or the whole plan. They will not. But they're going to show you the next step that you need to take. And in your faith, you will not question that. Where is it leading you? Well, to awareness. It's leading you to an understanding that your Where is it leading you? It's leading you to awareness and understanding. This is like a turning point right here for, for someone out there. This is a turning point that is the deciding factor in your faith, in your faith, in your higher power. This is a turning point that is going to lend itself to the rest of your life. When you understand how to be the empress, follow your intuition, mind your thoughts. When you understand how to be the empress, it opens up a whole new world for you where you're not ever going to want to go back to the flesh ever again. And 14, this is patience. This is the hanged man, right? Patience, the hanged man. What is this about? It's about patiently reevaluating your whole situation and knowing that spirit has your back. Spirit has your back, Taurus. They do. You just have to give the reins up. You have to give the control up. You have to step back and step into your understanding that there is a higher power that is always trying to point you in the direction of your best and highest good. And no matter how many times you have fucked that up, they're still waiting there for you to come back so they can lead you to the path of your purpose on this planet. There you go, Taurus. Hope that helps somebody. Remember, the only way to know your true story is to have your cards read. And this reading could have been about anything and anyone. Okay? Hope that helps somebody. Namaste.